Hello friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Hannah and I'm so excited to see you here today. You can join us for Storytime every Thursday at noon where we'll read a new book and do an activity. Before we read today's book, let's start with our Storytime welcome song. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. Ready? Count of three. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Good job! I hope you sang along with me. If you did, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> now let's get started with today's book called The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Now before we begin this book, I just want to point out the beautiful illustrations and the gorgeous colors that we're going to see all through the book. So keep an eye out for those colors because I'll give you a little hint at today's activity. It's going to involve a lot of different colors. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy this book. The Day You Begin. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Can you raise your hand if that's ever happened to you? Yep, I'm sure you're not alone. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. How does she look? What do we think? Not too happy, right? There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Now let's take a look at these two pages. We see Rigoberto is in class here. Where do you think he is in his mind? Somewhere beautiful, right? Rigoberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. Look at those beautiful flowers. Right? And if you look even closely, you can see some song notes. That. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, when the teacher asks, What did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, says Shyla. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan pulled out a, a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile. They look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels go on and on. As you stand out in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb, and your day spent at home caring for your little sister, who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? Ever look out the window? 
You ever see birds out your window? Yeah, maybe that's something we all have in common too. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others who lo to love as you do. Let's check this page out. Do you ever feel like our friends here? Do you ever feel all of those eyes on you? And when even your own friend Nadia will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she didn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. And you'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, and the game isn't one you can really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Can we look at these two pages together? Do you notice anything about this page? It's so vast and open, one friend standing alone. And what about this page? We have lots of friends, lots of color, lots of nature, some houses, some trees. Can you say something you see out loud? Very good. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Steady as steel and ready, even though you don't know, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. Look at his own brave self. What's he doing? There's a book in his hands, reading his book. And there will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class. Your voice stronger than it is a minute ago. Reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Isn't that a great story? Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. The end. Good job. Thank you so much for reading that story with me. Do you have something that makes you different? Can you close your eyes and think about it for a second? What makes you different? Okay, now open them. Let's celebrate that today. We're going to do that by drawing our own self-portraits. Now before we draw our own self-portrait, Let's take a look at one from the Mets collection. This is Self-Portrait with a Straw Hat by Vincent Van Gogh. It's a painting in oil, so that's, that's paints that are very, um, pretty difficult to work with. So, what do you notice at first? You could say it out loud. Yeah, maybe his yellow hat, maybe his blue shirt, or maybe all the little swirls around him. So, this is actually a picture of the artist himself. 
Now he painted this. Do you think according to real life? When you see things, do things, do the colors swirl around like that? Maybe they do, but if they don't, that would be more of what the artist is trying to capture. Now, let's make our own self-portrait inspired by the colors in our book, The Day You Begin, and Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait. We are going to call them your brave self self-portrait, right? So, in our self-portraits, we're going to be brave and use a lot of color. You can use markers, or crayons, or colored pencils, or any sort of drawing or coloring material that you like best. You can also use colorful paper, just like I did. Now, does this look like me? Maybe, maybe not, but what's important is that I had a lot of fun drawing it. Now, can you see what color my lips are? Right, I have some greenish purple lipstick on, my hair is purple, my eyebrows are green, and I'm living in this orange world, which is kind of cool. I also drew another one to show that you can make more than one. What color is my hair in this one? Right? It's green. That's pretty cool. Some people do have green hair, but as you can see, mine is brown. Now, when you draw your brave self self-portrait, I want you to use your favorite colors and ones that make you happy and represent who you are on the inside and what makes you different, most importantly. Now, I hope you get to drawing and you draw something beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us for Storytime, and I hope, you, hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.